Welcome to this week's episode of the Compliance Digest, presenting topics on all things compliance related. My name is Alex Krenke, and this week we're going to be diving into an article that was recently published from Investment News that was talking about some top tech trends that we can look forward to in 2014. Uh, so with me today is Jenny Green, the Manager of New Business Development at Quest CE. Jenny, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Uh, and the first topic I want to dig into, since it was the first one published in the article, is social media. Uh, they did a, a study and looked at uh, how many firms are really allowing the usage of social media, and then broke it down by each service. So uh, just to do a quick recap, 98% of the independent broker-dealer channel is allowing their reps to use LinkedIn. Uh, 83% are allowing them to use Twitter, and then 78% are allowing them to use Facebook. So, um, Jenny, what's your analysis of this? I think it's great. I think over the past two to three years, we saw the independent broker-dealer channel go from no allowing anything. Mm -hmm. They had that ship tight. (laughs) And now they're allowing social media. You just said 98% are allowing LinkedIn. They're recognizing that it's a viable communication relationship building tool, and it's essential for an advisor to use. What I find interesting, though, is that Regardless of how popular Facebook is overall, it is the most popular social media platform, the independent broker-dealers allow that revenue the least. I think we can understand why LinkedIn might be the most popular. It's very business. It's very professional. Um, You can get jobs off of it. Um, That's, you know, you have your resume basically out there. Mm -hmm. But second was Twitter. Which is surprising. I thought I would have seen Facebook higher because of that business to consumer connection that they can make. Mm-hmm. But regardless of that, platforms, it doesn't matter what platform, it's great to see the broker dealers come on board and allow social media use for those advisors. I definitely agree. I think it was a long time coming. Uh, we probably expected it to see it a little bit sooner than it did, but uh, you know. The results are here, and it's, it's, just, it's just good that we're all on the same page. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next thing I wanted to focus on was a piece of the survey that talked about current systems in place and, and ones that these uh, IDBs were looking to overhaul in 2014. Uh, it, it covered a really wide spectrum, the survey did, in terms of uh, specifically which systems. Uh, it could be as simple as your CRM, uh, your portfolio management tool, and even something like financial planning. Uh, but the, what the results did pull out, which I think was really indicative of of, of what the industry is lacking right now, um, what, what could use improvements. So what was your take on this? Well, Alex, I dived into the individual results. So the top technology system that independent broker-dealers are looking to overhaul was actually document management, ranking high with a 98%. So 98% of independent broker-dealers mm-hmm. were going to overhaul their document management tool, the lowest being financial planning. I think that this focus on... Document management is basically saying that we're going to take away some of those mundane, non-complex tasks that you're doing and giving them a focus on the complexity of their job, which is being an advisor, Mm -hmm. some of the calculations, some of that work that is a complex equation. Um, By focusing on that technology automation, such as that document management, which is the highest, you can reduce their risk of human error as well as any manual work, saving them time, and as well as reducing risk for the whole firm. You don't want them making easy errors and causing problems for the firm. Uh, This reduction of risk can also be seen, I think, in the second highest level of technology system that they're looking to overhaul, which is compliance, Mm -hmm. which is good because you don't want human error in compliance. You don't want paper or outdated technology in compliance. Mm -hmm. You want that to be up to date and as accurate and as automated as possible. You know, replacing outdated technology or paper processes there will help save the firm fines or issues coming in the future. I want to stay on this topic of risk for just another second, and this will bring us to the next point, which was uh, we weren't surprised by this one at all. Um, It had to do with information storage. Yes, information storage, Alex. It wasn't surprising that independent broker-dealers and broker-dealers overall still do not use the cloud for storage and continue to use the traditional servers, you know, the expensive big server rooms, reasoning with the security, their security needed for their confidential information. And I think really what it is, the cloud is new. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's just like social media. The financial services industry is usually slow to adopt new technology And the cloud is new. I do foresee the cloud within a few years being coming that storage mechanism of the future. And I think they're just looking for a few broker-dealers to navigate that path. And, you know, that fear will dissipate. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think it really is an economical solution. It's There are a lot of advantages to moving to the cloud, but just like what we saw with social media, uh, it is new, uh, hasn't really been vetted by uh, other less risky industries, and it, it's certainly something we'll look for in the future. I agree. Uh, the last point I did want to bring up, because it was the last part of the study too, was talking about future technologies. So uh, we talked about things they want to improve, but now let's focus on things they want to, uh, to bring onto the firm that may be new. Uh, so... I think what's really great about this piece is this will help forecast the uh, the future of, of what these BDs would like to accomplish. It will give us a really good flavor of the economic climate we're in. Yes, Alex. The broker dealers are following the economic climate we are in, and everyone can agree. Rather than hiring new employees, firms are asking their advisors, their current employees, just to do more with less. Mm -hmm. do, you know, Get the work done with less people. And this is a theme, the theme for the entire survey um, and the results in investing in new technology specifically. The most popular new technology being invested in was advisor productivity, mm -hmm. focusing on giving them more time to do their job. Were the other categories that uh, were in this question that they would invest new technology in were like sales, marketing, client services, um, online um, financial advice, um, that would technically support the advisor, um, making their jobs easier, but I think they're focusing to make them more efficient and help them in their jobs. I think that trend of being more efficient and being able to do more with the technology that is out there um, is going to be a trend in 2014. I, I agree. I think that's really the theme here today is, you know, you're looking at productivity, doing less with more. Um, I, I think that really speaks to the whole social media aspect we talked about earlier. So, uh, you know, we aren't pouring money and resources into creating marketing materials and, and investing into new sales technology. Instead, we're just using what's currently out there, which doesn't cost a lot of money, social media and allowing our reps to do that. Let them do the marketing themselves. Let them do the sales themselves. Help them be more efficient. Mm hmm and, and not doing a lot of the um, repetitive and more secretarial or less um, productive tasks. Exactly. Well, Jenny, I do want to thank you for joining us and helping break down these, these top tech trends. Uh, I know it's really helpful when we're looking at next year and, and what these firms would like to accomplish. From what we're seeing from the independent channel, uh, less with more, um, get rid of the menial tasks, and, and it's great to see that social media has really become accepted. Exactly. Well, Jenny, I want to thank you for coming on today and, and helping to break down this, these technology trends that we're seeing. Uh, it's definitely important to know when you're looking at next year and, and looking where you want to allocate your budget. So uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you again next year for another episode of the Compliance Digest.